Hello everyone, this is Ghost Game Therapy and thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I am going to be showing you how you can use professional mode in Phasmophobia to get ready for nightmare mode. I know this is something that I could have benefited from when I was learning how to play the game and so I want to show you how you can use this to get more comfortable with nightmare mode and using less evidence to discover what the ghost is. But first, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video. And also in the comments down below, let me know how you have been trying to get ready for nightmare mode, how you've struggled the most, and what you're trying to do about it. So let's just get into this therapy session. So to make this sort of short and sweet and to the point, I'm going to go ahead and do Willow. However, you can do this on all the maps, and I recommend that actually because it will get you more comfortable with various maps. However, uh, let's just start with Willow Street so that you can kind of see what I'm talking about when I'm talking about using professional, uh, the professional setting difficulty to kind of get yourself kind of ready um, and titrating up to using Nightmare Mode a little bit more. We've got our handy dandy Christmas lights up here. So um, I'm not going to worry about the snowmen and all that, so I'm just going to ignore them for now. I I'm doing separate uh, videos on uh, the holiday event, so I'm not going to really worry about that here. So one of the things that you've got uh, here that you wouldn't have if you were doing nightmare mode is you've got your activity monitor and you've got your sanity monitor. The activity monitor, I, I think it's useful when you're playing with multiple people. They can let you know if there's indeed a hunt going on. You're really going to know on a small map like this, you're going to know if there's a hunt going on. But it, it can be actually pretty helpful if you're playing on a larger map to uh, have somebody looking at that um, uh, activity monitor and letting you know, hey, yeah, this is not just an event or you can't even hear it, but there's a ghost that's hunting right now because you're in the asylum and you're on the other side of it or whatever. <clears throat> um, and then you also have your sanity meter here. This actually comes in extremely handy when you're trying to identify a ghost um, and, and you won't have that. So, you know, what I recommend is getting used to not paying a ton of attention to it it's going to be a little hard to ignore it when you just come in here um but anyway I just kind of try to pretend like it's not there and then you've also got your uh map here and this would have the breaker on it um you know there's only two spots here where the breaker can be uh, but what i would kind of get used to in order to uh, adjust to um, not knowing where the breaker is, is just sort of get used to going into the map and turning the breaker on right away. It, it, when you play Nightmare and Insanity, there are people who don't want the lights on, the breakers on, they want to lose their sanity. When you have Nightmare mode, you have your cursed object, so you can you can pretty easily get rid of your sanity without having to worry about it too terribly much. We've got our objectives here. Not terribly hard, however, we got that one without um, any protective items, because you can kind of see I just prestige, so I have only crummy equipment right now. But that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna live on the on the edge. Okay, so I am going. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and take a flashlight so that you can kind of see what I'm doing a little better because I don't have my night vision uh, goggles. Um, so the first thing that I recommend, you know, anytime you're doing any of these. Um, more difficult levels is getting in and getting the breaker on. That helps you rule out different ghosts. Uh, and then also scoping out your hiding spots. And I will show you a few because one of the other things that I think is really important when you're doing higher level stuff is um, you can almost make yourself, I wouldn't say invincible because you're always going to you know, have the potential to die. But uh, it will make you much more successful if you know where to hide when you're in a pinch. And so I will tell you, one of the spots I've had decent luck with is here. Um, I wouldn't call it perfect luck, um, but I've had pretty OK luck if the ghost just comes down here. It rarely seems to come all the way back here. Um, I actually have hidden here. I don't think I'd recommend it anymore, though I think that that kind of glitch has been fixed. But yeah, believe it or not, I've had hidden there. And I'm pretty sure that the ghost should have had line of sight. Uh, but anyway, let's see. So, uh, and then I use, I always use the level one therm. I know there's other um, 
good, really good Phasmo players like in Sim who uh, prefer this level one thermometer. It, it, you can actually in real time see it going up and down. Where the other ones just, you know, give you a read of that room and not a consistent read, which is what a digital thermometer would do. See, it's dropping right now, and so we probably have ourselves a hall ghost here. So hiding spots. Um, if the ghost is not, oh, okay. If the, if the ghost is not a hall ghost, uh, you can often hide here and be pretty okay. And I've also hidden in here. Um, one of the other strategies for hide, oh, we've got an actual hiding spot there. So, uh, you know, obviously use your actual hiding spot. I think they fixed that spot so that it's not as much as problematic. But if you have the strategy of closing the door and going here, you can see, now it may go through here. Um, all of these, all of the willow ones are a little, um, what do I want to say, kind of less, uh, less trustworthy, but th it doesn't mean that you, you can't, you can usually still survive by doing this. <clears throat> so if you go in and you can actually get in here, let's say you started a hunt down there, and I don't even know what our cursed object is yet, you know, close the door behind you quickly and run and hide and you're usually okay some people hide there I don't like that spot I've been killed there numerous times but okay I'm gonna leave this in here and I'll show you a couple of other hiding spots that I use in a pinch when I get in a... so obviously we've got two really good hiding spots in here we wouldn't be using the the crummy second rate one that I'm gonna give you there's the bone Hide here uh, but I will hide here often with good success and if nothing else this is a very good looping spot um, as well as the kitchen's pretty decent of a looping spot I wouldn't say it's quite as good as um, as Tanglewood is uh, but it, it's it's not bad um, that's not that door I thought I saw a move what door was it huh okay I really swear I saw that door move but um, the last one, if you come in here, you know, you're running, you close the door, and you get over here, it's pretty good. Okay, we got cards. So you've got a lot of hiding uh, spots. None of them are going to be foolproof. When they're not official hiding spots, you know, you're you're taking a chance that the ghost will just kind of wander in. Um, but they're they're still pretty good. So I I, I recommend you know kind of putting a little trust in them. Um, Let's get this in there so that we can see. So the other thing that I would say that I recommend you do when you're trying to kind of build up your confidence uh, is don't worry about getting all three evidences. Try to get the ghost by a couple of evidences and then using your cursed objects and using, uh, I was just trying to see if we got a, is it in the kitchen now? Let's see. Uh, I want to check this temp here. It may have moved. Yeah, I think it did. Okay, I think we're in here now. So we're gonna put we'll put one of the dots kind of going this way. So yeah, get used to using one or two uh, evidences to just kind of figure out what the ghost is. So maybe it touched one of these doors then. I need to check for dots in here. Or dwarves, I mean. Eh. Nope. Okay. So we're going to remove this. and uh, This ghost is a little all over, isn't it? What door was that? Oh, it's not on. Okay. I was like, what on earth? I know I heard it over here somewhere. It's probably is all the way up here. Okay, we got EMF 5. Huh. They have twins, maybe? See, I'm already. So, and the other thing that I would say is start, you know, kind of getting your short list of ghosts going of without you know even any evidence or one evidence is uh what you know do you think this could be 
up to this point here. Now, we're going to even try to do this without um, things like salt and stuff. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be challenging. And we may get it wrong. And whatever. That's fine. Okay. So. But I'm kind of. See. The twins. And right now my two that I kind of have are twins. And the wraith. Because it, it, it really seems like it's a little bit all over the place to me. So that's a good indicator. It could be either of those two. Where are you? Where are you? Are you here? Okay. So. And. Um, we're not. Well, so we got our two evidences. And it could give us our third, but. Um, so my initial guess would be twins so we gotta try to get a picture is what it's saying huh okay so I don't want to start off with a picture because we've got a teleporting ghost and well I'm gonna have a camera but um, we've got a teleporting ghost and so this these three without like our where we're at right now without any um, advanced uh, like uh, objects, like smudges and stuff. It's pretty, it's gonna be really challenging. And so, but we're not gonna worry about it too much um, because I think we can rule, I do not think this is probably a spirit just because, so we got three that have kind of the same honey range We've got, um, we've got, let's get this, and let's go ahead and get a picture of the bone. We've got two that tend to wander, and so, but so then what you want to do is you want to kind of deduce, is there a way that I'd be able to decipher this? Sometimes you're not going to be able to, especially when you get to one evidence item or none, uh, you know, it starts to get really impossible. But there's a way that we might be able to use the cursed object here. And so I want this fan off, actually. I'm going to turn my flashlight on so I just have a little more light. But I'm not too terribly worried about seeing. I'm just going to throw this here in case it gives me an event. But we're going to... So Hermit's going to trap it. That messes us up a little bit. So if it's... Oh, so we got our picture now. Okay. I think. Let's see. Does that give it to us? Okay, yeah, it's just two star, but whatever. So we got... I don't need that anymore. What I'm going to listen for, though, is if it's all over the place or if it changes speeds. If it's a ghost that has two different speeds and two different hunts, then we know we're dealing that we're dealing most likely dealing with twins. Okay. We want actually lower lower sanity. Is it hunting? No, okay. Tower there we go. This is good. This is what I want. I actually kind of want. Now, it could potentially spawn on top of me, chance I'm willing to take. That brings me to something else that I think I should say here. Between professional, uh, at professional, you're already pretty used to dying <laughs> a good amount, but getting used to kind of accepting that it's okay to, like, lose in the game so because you're gonna actually be able to kind of so it's hunting now it's a very standard speed here so it doesn't tell us a whole lot from that 
still hunting. Are we done? Yeah, we're done now. Okay. Now I want to get some lights on just to make it a little easier to see. See, the sound is still so weird because I could not hear that at all. I didn't know it was hunting. Normally you can hear the front door close, even on big maps. In fact, I want that off. Now I'm going to try to just see if I could use these to get it to hunt. Interaction. Okay. So... Yeah, goddess. I think it's a wraith. <laughs> it could potentially be twins, but anyway. Um, I should have maybe ran, but I, I thought maybe it wouldn't know that I was in the corner there. That's okay. Um, so, let's see. Yep, it was a wraith. So, the, the twins seem to be... To me, they don't seem to wander quite as much. This started to seem like it had... A real random pattern to it uh so that you know as you can see and we we look we still got like 400 dollars for that that used to be big time money <laughs> before the update but we were able to kind of tell what it was there um just from the fact that it it wandered like that so i'm gonna go ahead and just get everything here and let's do let's go ahead and try to do the same thing here now at Tanglewood and we got time to do maybe one more here so let's see if we can make it through and you can see it's challenging especially when you don't have protective items um, it can be kind of challenging to even get away with nightmare mode but that's okay um, not too terribly worried about it we're gonna use I'm just gonna grab three things here I'll use this to kind of light the way so you can see so we're gonna do really the same thing we're gonna get the breaker on try to see where the ghost is get our two evidences and um, try to utilize the cursed object to oh, that was interesting it sounded like it might be upstairs try to use the cursed object to figure out what the ghost could be okay let's just see where it is where are you Yeah, okay, goodbye. Okay. So, here we got something with the cursed object. We just used our sanity to uh, kind of give us a little information. So, that cut our sanity down. To. What would that take our sanity down to? So pretty average ghost. No. I definitely don't recommend that you add <laughs> barking dogs to your your challenges here. <laughs> it's already challenging enough. Okay, so we had a pretty average um, ghost there. I'm gonna go ahead and take in three items. What are we trying to get here? Photo of the ghost. We had a real, you know, just average speed ghost there. So, um, and it, it may try to hunt again fairly quickly. 
So I am trying to see if I can oh maybe I should look for orbs quick. Don't see orbs. I'm gonna go in here and see about it. I might be able to see get some information. So another way to get some good information is from looping. And we're gonna use this too to see if the ghost comes to us. It did. We know it's not a yokai. So yeah, we already lost it. Um Did I throw the camera? I have a whole old habit from when I first started of just like tossing equipment. It's really throwing some pretty well. Um, let's see if we get spare box. Where are you? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Okay. Oops, where am I? Where am I? Uh, okay. Let's see. I don't know what I did with the camera. Oh, look, we have another one if we need it. <laughs> I just tossed it. Yeah, I have this old habit of doing it. Okay, so we've got freezing. So it's not a pole, we know that much. Um... Pretty average stuff so far. Poltergeist, or not poltergeist, freezing. I don't think it's probably a demon. It's probably not a Maroi. Um, it may be an Oni. It did seem quite visible. So, <clears throat> if you're looking for. Yeah, well, we do have our sanity there. But th so anyway, what I was saying about sanity is after we asked the question, it lowered it to 60%. Um, and so we would need either EMF5 or... We would need either EMF5 or... What's the other one for Oni? I'm trying to remember here. Not fingers. Orbs. No. Uh, spear box? No. Ghost writing? No. Oh, dots. Okay. And so sometimes, too, you're going to have evidence that's going to be difficult. This can also help you with that. So dots is notoriously difficult to get. Okay. I want to be able to watch it one more time, too. Um... I would say Moroi's out. And it didn't give a spirit box, so that would rule that out too. Not a Hantu, not a Rev. Probably not a Shade. I'll say probably for now. The best way to test for that is by kind of being in the same room, which is obviously risky, but we may be able to. I, I don't think this is twins either. I didn't see any orbs, so I don't think it's a. I don't think it's likely a mimic. Um, we're gonna look for orbs one more time. We also want to have. Can I place the camera here? What a weird camera placement. We'll see if we can put that there. Cannot see a thing. I haven't really ruled out fingerprints, have I? Downstairs. I do want to see this ghost again. Oh, we got fingies. Okay. So we know it's not an Oni, then. Um, there's my first camera. So we've got our evidences now. I'm supposed to try to get a ghost of this. This could be a demon, maybe. Let's see. So we've got UV. I do not think it's a mimic. I think we're between a demon and a gen. Um, pretty fast. Pretty fast hunting. Okay. Can I get a picture like so? I'm gonna try it. May die.
Bolt and brace. <laughs> okay. Um, we're gonna wait one more time here because I want to see. I'm kind of thinking. So another thing you can do if you're trying to wean, you could use two. Take your guess see, real fast. I think this is most likely uh, a demon, but. Do we get him now? God damn it. Okay. Uh, but we, what I was saying is you could do this, see if you've got some luck. I'm hoping it might give me an event too. But see if you've got some luck by um, like picking the ghost. And then you could go ahead and after you picked it, go check for your evidence and then see if you um, get it the next time around. I'm gonna try to do it this time here. Okay. Oh, oh, wait, no, we're still we're still playing this game. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Did we get it? No! <laughs> uh, yeah, without these, it's such... My word, why... So, let's see. We'll try it one more time here. Again, I'm not the greatest at getting these pictures. It's probably going to come back in. Uh, no. Did we get it? No, we didn't. Man. I mean, <laughs> why? I, I really feel like this is it. It's also not like kind of launching and not getting scary fast. Uh, you can usually tell, you know, it'd almost be easier if I could. <clears throat> I wonder if I should loop what another strategy here. Well, that's not on though. One other option I could do if I can't get this picture this way is to go into, and it actually is a better way of determining that, that ruling out for sure that this isn't a gen. I don't think it's a gen. It is, and I'm starting to second guess myself a little bit because I'm gonna go in there and try to get the light on. So my current strategy is I'm gonna try to loop it into into the garage, and it, the garage is a really good place to rule out a gin. Um, so, I'm gonna go in there. And, definitely not a gin. Okay, did we get the fucking picture? Thank God. I'm not going to worry about the ghost event, but definitely not a gen. 
the gin would have sped up a lot more and i would have probably been toast there to be completely honest um so we're gonna go with the demon let's see here so again if you just can kind of narrow it down already um we could you know then go in if we wanted to especially if you had protective items if you had sanity medication if you had uh smudges and stuff you could go back in and you could kind of do some more testing to kind of further rule out whether or not it's uh a you know a, a gin or a demon so there's some slight potential you get this wrong it could also uh, you know, we've got a camera in there it's probably worth us just double checking for orbs but i didn't see any orbs on the worst camera that was ever used the 1993 kobe <laughs> okay so we've got our we've got our objectives i know i'm looking at the san at the activity monitor but i don't really think it tells us a whole lot here let's see what we got a demon okay so yeah the really rapid hunting kind of gave it away and the uh, we got our two evidences and it's it was a little dumb <laughs> that's my <laughs> off-label way of telling if it's a demon they're not they're not the brightest uh they're not the fastest they're just mean and so that's that's their main thing so yeah we leveled up a little i don't know if we earned can we buy anything special let's see real quick uh, yeah so now we can have like cruises and stuff those things will def that that would probably have helped a lot even there with it with a demon or um if we only had one we could have stayed in the room and you know tried to rule out a shade obviously it wasn't a shade because it's chain hunting like crazy but um anyway so yeah that is it, it you know uh, it's a good way of just kind of experimenting you use professional obviously you don't get the points that you would on nightmare um but we were able to use the cursed object kind of see where our sanity ended up um, and kind of explore some different things that way. So anyway, um, I hope that's helpful. Um, I'll maybe do a couple of other small, smaller maps or, you know, I guess I could even do a bigger map to kind of show you a little bit more about how to kind of prepare yourself for Nightmare. And I'll probably do something also on how to prepare yourself for Insanity or, you know, something that's even more difficult than Insanity. So anyway, if you like that, please don't forget to subscribe, uh, comment, and let me know of ways that you've trained yourself to kind of uh, get get used to even professional. How did you kind of work up to that level? And don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.